literally. I've just wiped my eye after putting on the most minimal layer of mascara on possible. I don't have the mic I would normally use today. I have no makeup on because everything has gone wrong this week in the shop. So I'm not looking my usual self. I literally have no makeup on, apart from a little bit of eyebrows, a little bit of lip gloss, and like 0.1 coats of mascara. So today the video is going to be a little chaotic. I'm going to do my best to make sure the sound is okay, but honestly, this is probably not the quality of sound that you are used to. Being that everything has gone wrong, I've had to have a little bit of a change of plan in videos this week. So I have two for you, and I've come up with a little something something that I've never really done before, but I do get asked about generally how certain plants are doing in the shop. So I'm going to pick several plants from the shop and show you the plants that are doing particularly well at the moment. The follow-up video will be the video where essentially I choose the plants that are not doing so well at the moment but honestly that's for different reasons it's not necessarily just because they look like shit some of them are just growing really slowly so without further ado i'm gonna go get the first plant i feel like i'm really far in am i what am i on no that's literally max zoom okay i'm gonna try and stand further back so this first plant i have here is actually philodendron upi it is a number of small propagations look at it they're doing really well i do have a couple of them and they're gonna be ready you know what, I don't know, perhaps in a month, perhaps less. There might even be some, actually, I think I have about 10. There might be some ready in a couple of weeks. I don't know, but I have a few of these and they're actually doing really well, which is interesting because I do have some young plants at the minute that are not doing well at all. So it's really nice to see these doing well because of course they're my favorites. But this is, believe it or not, Philadelphia UPI. If I can try and show you, I don't even have my monitor today, so I can't even see if I'm in focus. But if I show you that there, you see how young they look. They do look very, very young. But hopefully you can see that it is indeed a UPI. I think you can tell by this part at the top here. Really, really cute little plant. I won't linger on him because there's not a lot to say because he's so small. But he's growing really, really well. I'm very, very happy about it. And to be honest, I can see new root growth here that you probably will not be able to see. Yeah, you can kind of see a little root there, but it's hard to see. They're just doing so well. This is possibly slightly larger maybe than a lot of the ones I have, but he's doing very cute. So there he is, Philodendron UPI, doing really well, and the whole batch of them are doing really well. The next plant I have to show you, honestly, it's kind of going slow and steady. I thought this would go a little bit quicker than what it has, but either way, it's doing really, really well. This plant here is Anthurium Luxuriens, and I'm going to have to tip him, but he's very, very cute. If I show him to the camera, you can see how young he is. Look at him. Oh, bless him. He's got beautiful dimension though. He has this leaf here and then he has this leaf here. And he's very, very cute. He almost looks blue, this one. I don't know why. Can you see that on camera? Like normally they look a lot more green than this, but I'm getting a lot of blue tones and I find it quite interesting. He has a little tag in him that says what he is. I don't, um, I don't actually know how long he's been in here, but he's been in here a while. I think I took this cutting from the bigger luxuriance that I have upstairs in my studio. And I think he's from that. I think he's like a stem cutting. Yeah, if I tip him up, you can kind of see the roots on him. He's dripping all over the place. Literally all of my outer parts are at the flat. They're not even here, but he's looking really, really cute as well. I'm really, really liking him. He's very, very slow. I honestly thought we'd get more out of him, but he's doing okay and we don't have any nastiness around the edges of the leaves he's just doing really really nice so for that i'm quite grateful again there is the other one there so he's doing very very nice and it's quite a pleasant surprise because i kind of forgot that i had him he's in a corner kind of that way down that aisle there and i didn't even see him till today so i thought i'd pull him out and show you them very very slow but growing absolutely perfect so we like him Right, this next plant is considerably bigger and it's definitely something that I think more people will appreciate. So this is a really big, beautiful mother plant of Philodendron domesticum variegata. I'm going to have to show him. I'm trying not to hit the, um, the microphone that I have on a little arm above the camera. So if you see me looking up, that's what I'm trying to do. Try not to hit it. There, can you see that? He's really, really good. And these plants have had a little bit of a journey growth-wise, actually. So before I got my lighting fitted on the shelves, they didn't grow at all. They literally didn't grow at all. And I always say this, I find that some plants, if they're not happy, they will grow leggy and nasty. And some plants just don't grow at all. I would honestly say this is a plant that doesn't grow at all if it's not happy. Like it won't root, it won't do anything. If anything, it's going to rot if it doesn't get enough light. That's definitely the same for this plant specifically. But this one's growing really well. Um, there's some aerial roots that have dried off, but I've got new ones in. I don't even know how they've managed to dry off, but there they are. Really, really pretty plant. Not the best in terms of variegation. I'm not going to lie to you. 
but this newer one is looking pretty good. So if they still keep up like that, then we're all right, really. I think if I cut this down, I should get something good out of it, but I haven't done it yet because I'm just very apprehensive with these. I did mention these on a video, I can't remember when. Just plants that don't propagate well, I think was the video I mentioned it in, but I basically said that these are a nightmare to propagate and there is a really high failure rate. So you don't catch me cutting these very often. I do have some propagations growing at the minute, but they're very small and they're very slow. So this one's probably not gonna get cut for a while, but if I just hold it back, it is very, very pretty and I'm really, really pleased with it. This isn't really the best example of a mature leaf, but I'll show it to you anyway, just because I feel like I always show you leaves that are juvenile and it's hard to get a mature one. So there you go. Great, great plant growing really well. Really happy with it. The next plant I want to show you is a plant that I hold some time ago and I cannot remember if it was this year or last year. It was a little while ago. And honestly, when I hold it, I think it was a very similar size to this, but this plant has died all the way back and then it's come back again and it's looking really, really nice. When I did haul this, I think I gave one to my mum. So my mum has one and no doubt hers is a lot bigger than mine. I'll have to check. But this here is a Calathea white star and I will show it to the camera because it's very, very beautiful. Look at this though. Now you might think, oh, okay, cool. But seriously, this was nearly dead and it's been on the brink of death quite a bit, but it's come back fine. I think it is still one plant, or has it divided itself? You could possibly divide that into three plants, I'm not really sure. I'll tip him up again, because honestly he's doing really well and he doesn't even have any crispy tips on him. If you see that, look how beautiful he is. He's a really, really nice plant. I don't think he's anywhere near even growing out of this pot, to be honest. Let's have a look. Um, spoke too soon. There's some root there, so I need, do need to pot him up at some point. But he's doing really well. He generally lives on one of these end shelves, basically just in here. I water him when I see him. And he just gets left there to chill, so he gets not too much light. He just gets enough. Obviously, before anyone asks about the crispy tip thing, the humidity in here is ridiculous. We're at about 90 odd percent right now, so it's very easy to not get crispy tips that way. I am actually giving him tap water though. I know but he seems absolutely fine. He's growing in pawn as well, so he's obviously getting like minimal feed. I don't really want to disturb him because he's doing so well, so he just kind of lives there now. I'll show you this other guy because he's also in a Lechuza pot, but I do have a few more that are just growing normally in moss. This guy is not, but honestly, the moss ones I have are about as good. Um, I'll try and show you one, actually. So this one here is growing in moss and it's growing equally well. I do have some root out the bottom of it. I'm going to have to sort that out. But this here is Monstera oblique and I like them because they're growing particularly thin. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, cool. I've seen a lot of obliques with thin leaves, which is true. I have as well. But my mother plant that grows in like a terrarium in the corner, it isn't. Like every single time a leaf grows in the one in the terrarium, it's much larger and like more rounded, which is weird because it's getting the same amount of light as these guys, but these guys are growing narrower and they're from the mother plant. So I don't really understand it, but these are generally growing really, really well. Like that is solid in that plant pot. Um, I do need to take these out and pot them again, I think. Yeah, you probably can't tell. If I hold this up in front of me, can you see a little root? Yeah, you can. It's due a removal and then to be potted up larger, but it's absolutely immaculate as well. Now, these things are very hungry on feed. And if I'm totally honest with you, I haven't fed them much and they're still really green. Obviously, this one is in pond, hence it's been fed a little bit, but the others really haven't. No way. Fucking living wall. How many more things can go wrong today? How many more things can go wrong? This is insane. So yes, this is doing very, very well, as are a lot of others. They're ready for sale. I think this is a really nice size to sell on a bleaker at. So if you want one, let me know. I have quite a few, actually. I haven't listed any on the site in a little while. I should probably do that because these have been ready for ages and I haven't got around to it. But yeah, Monstera Oblique, nice and sexy and thin, plenty of little holes, looking very cute. Love it, love it, love it. Right, the next plant is a little bit difficult to talk about. And one, that's because the living wall is still going. Two, it's because I forgot the name of the plant. I can't remember what these are called. I'm going to have to obviously put the name on the screen. I cannot remember. But I want to talk about these plants because I think I brought in... Are there some over there? There's maybe five or six more of these, something like that. And I brought these plants in. I'll hold it while I talk about it. I brought in these plants a long time ago. We're talking like not quite six months ago, but it's definitely getting that way. I can't remember what they're called. They are a type of aroid. Um, the name is up on the screen and that will be correct. But they are, how can I describe it? They have beautiful big paddly leaves here. So they're a little bit reminiscent of 
I don't know, like a heart-shaped philodendron, like a plowman eye or something like that. Sort of, not quite. So they look like this. I'll just hold it up. Really, really pretty. Nice pink vein. My living wall's going into overdrive. Can you tell? I really hope you can hear me over that. Are you finished? Are you finished? I don't know. Um, and they have these really fuzzy stems here, and they are so, so soft and fuzzy. They're really beautiful. The leaves feel very much like a standard, like, plowman eye leaf. Soft fuzzy stems and a lovely pink tint to them, because if I just pull this back, you should be able to see the pretty pink tint to them. Now, the, I got them in on a whim because I liked how they looked. Honestly, I knew nothing about them. I thought, hey, they look cool. I'll try one. Why not? And I really, really like them. I don't suppose anyone else does. I don't think there's any demand for them at all. I do have a couple, but I don't think I've sold any. They're just... No one seems to care, but I think they're really, really pretty. And they did take a long time to rehabilitate, but they've taken not a lot of time to grow. So it's like once they're good again, once they've recovered from shipping, which did take a long time, don't get me wrong, they just grow like no tomorrow and they grow really, really quickly. So if you want a quick grow that's like completely different and you're not buying into like the hype of aroids, but you want something that looks aroidy, this is quite a nice one. As I say, I'm an idiot. I'll stand back with it. I've totally forgotten what it's called, but it's very, very beautiful and I do recommend them. And honestly, since they have rehabilitated, I've had no problems with them. They just grow really plump like this all the time. And in fact, it's actually rooted through the bottom. Can you see that? Can you see that on the pot? Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plants. I just wish I knew what they were called. So the next plant I get nothing but questions about all the time. It doesn't matter what video it is. People ask me about it. I've had a lot of questions on me selling it because people seem to like it that much. I'm guessing you can't really find them. And honestly, if you don't know what this is, this is Alocasia reticulata. So it looks a little bit like a Sabrina, like that. It's got the same kind of stem, only the leaves are... I mean, they almost look chlorotic, but they're not. This is actually how the plant grows. It grows with this really cool pattern that you see right there, like that. Really, really, really pretty. And I get a lot of questions on this, and I get a lot of people asking me if it's for sale. It's not, but I think I mentioned this in a video a while ago. I was essentially waiting for the plant to pop itself, and then I would work from that. But I wanted to show you this plant today because it started to pop. Can you see this? Let me try not to hit the mic and try to hide my face. There it is. There is two pops coming up from the plant. And I think we've got lucky from this because had I repotted it, I, I don't feel like this plant would have popped. So I'm really, really happy with it. I just don't really know what the next move is in terms of removing these pops. That's it next to me. It's quite a nice plant, but the pot is tiny. So, I mean, I don't really recommend keeping an alocasia in a pot this small. On this occasion, it's done pretty well for me, but I don't really recommend it. I'm going to wait till these get a little bit bigger, and then I think I'm going to try and remove them and hopefully not kill them. And I hope I don't kill them because honestly, I've been waiting for this to pop for, I don't know, two years, maybe long time. And it's only just started to now. I don't think I've got any other bulbs in it. Mm, oh, you know what? I lie to you. I lie to you. Can you see this? Let me try and tip this up out of the way of the camera. Can you I'm trying to cover the light? Can you see that? If I tip that there, can you see that? That's a plant trying to push its way up. No doubt about it. It's foliage there. Right, so I'm definitely, definitely not going to repot this right now. I'm going to have to leave it a bit longer. But it's kept all of its leaves, which is great. Previously, me and Alocasia don't go well together because I end up with a plant with like three, three leaves, sometimes two, because if you don't get the watering right, you're not going to keep your leaves. The newest leaf is looking a bit weird, and I do find this happens sometimes with this plant. It goes less patterned for no apparent reason. Um, sometimes I get a less patterned one, then it comes in later, or sometimes it never comes in. And I have a feeling... But that's not going to come in. We'll see what happens, but hmm, I don't know. I don't really want to do anything to it because I'm so happy that it's popping. Um, especially since we've got this bonus one. Let me give you one more look at it because that's kind of cool, right? Right there. As long as it focuses on the pot, we're good. Literally. So yeah, that's my Alocasia reticulata and it's not for sale, but it is doing well. And if I ever had enough pups, of course I'd sell them. I just think no one should wait on me because that's going to take a long time. But hey, I could at least get one and put one upstairs and grow one out. I think that would be, that'd be pretty good. The last plant I have to show you that's, it's not doing well, right? That's kind of, it's kind of a cop out. It's not doing well. It's just really different. And it was brought in in a batch. I've just actually noticed now that this petiole has been snapped. So the leaf is going to go, oh no, can you see that there? Can you see that? It's snapped. It's going to come off. Well, 
it was nice while it lasted, right? I'll keep it there. So, <laughs> shit happens, guys, honestly. So, this crystallinum is what it is. It was brought in with a batch of others. And the reason I like this, it might not come off on camera, you know. But basically, I don't think that is. I think it looks green. Basically, it's quite chocolatey. A long time ago, I think it was last year, I hauled a Anthurium Forgetii, but it was very, very chocolatey. It was very brown colored all the time. This is kind of the crystalline equivalent to that. I just don't actually think, I mean, that's an old leaf that's going. I don't actually think you can tell. It's just a lot more chocolatey. And I think the petioles are a little bit more pinky than usual. It's rooting really well though, I will say that. I'll show you that. You see that? Yeah, it's rooting real nice. I just don't have a problem with things rooting in this shop. Oh no. Yeah, you probably can't tell. Let me know if you can tell if it does look any different. It might look like a normal crystal on the camera. To me personally in the viewfinder, it looks so marginally different that you probably couldn't tell. But in real life, it's very, very like bronzy colored. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm keeping it to one side because I want to see what happens with it. Because if it keeps growing like that or I find a way to essentially increase the bronze, then awesome, right? But this is... That's actually really sad. So that was my very chaotic pick of what's doing well in the shop this week. The next video you get will be a what's doing really not okay in the shop. I know it's very articulate. And I actually had an idea today, right? Hear me out. So I was looking around the shop and there was, there was stuff that was doing well. There was stuff that was not doing well. And then there was stuff that was just downright just right and I thought oh I shouldn't really put that on camera because that's a bit that's a bit bad that one but then I thought you know what I feel like if I put it to you guys I feel like a lot of you would actually like to see the plants that are just absolutely horrendous right now and I could probably do that the next time I come to film so basically if you would like to see a video on like the downright horror show of this shop like the nasty of the nasties let me know in the comments below and I'll probably make that video and I will just go around and pull out plants that are just like anthuriums that are just crispy as hell, really bad imports, like the worst of the worst. Let me know if you'd like to see that and I'd be more than happy to do it. I think it could be quite good. I don't really see any reason from shying away from it because honestly it's it's part of owning plants, right? It's part of the business. So um, let me know if you want to see that. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope this quality is okay for you. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps me out with the good old algorithm. And if you'd like to see any more of my content that is arguably a lot less chaotic, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. That's it for this video. And hopefully, hopefully, after the next video anyway, this thing behind me might be fixed. Because we're on manual watering right now with ladders and it's... It's not good. So pray that Ben can actually fix this thing. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next week. Bye.